You know what time it is. It's time to take a closer look at a brand new birthstone. Let me roll my giant imaginary wheel of birthstones to see what gem we're going to explore this episode. Ah, look. Today is all about aquamarine, the beautiful light blue gemstone that serves as March's birthstone. It's one of my all-time favorites, so let's get started. Aquamarine is one of the most popular and pretty members of the barrel family of gemstones. Another popular barrel is this green variety, emerald, but we'll talk more about May's birthstone some other time. Aquamarine is barrel's blue variety. Its name comes from two Latin roots, aqua and mare, and means water of the sea the name pretty clearly coming from the blue color. There's a wide range of blues that can be found in aquamarine because that blue is dependent on iron. Color is dependent on iron in a lot of gemstones. Where iron is found within barrel's crystal structure will determine how deep the coloring is. That said, most aquamarines today have undergone a heat treatment to improve those blue colors. One reason aquamarine jewelry is so coveted and so much fun to wear is because it's relatively easy for a lapidary to work with compared to many other gemstones. That means the truly talented and creative can work on really delightful cuts and shapes. Collectors like aquamarine as much as lapidaries do, especially rare cat's eye and star varieties. Some of the finest aquamarine in the world comes from Brazil. Cue the bossa nova. There's one famous Brazilian barrel that weighed over 100 pounds when it was first cut as a crystal, the Dom Pedro Aquamarine. It was mined in Pedra Azul, Brazil, all the way back in 1980. So not that long ago. By the way, Pedra Azul means blue stone in Portuguese. They really knew what they had there. I said first cut, by the way, because the stone was dropped and broken to three pieces. Some of it went off to a destiny as jewelry, while one large piece remained. It was christened Dom Pedro after the first and last emperor of Brazil. The final design in the gemstone was cut over a period of six months. And if you'd like to see this baby in person, can. It's at the Smithsonian's Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. Yet another blue Brazilian barrel found its way into United States history, the Eleanor Roosevelt Aquamarine. We don't really think of gemstones when we think of Eleanor Roosevelt, but it's true. This aquamarine was gifted to Mrs. Roosevelt in 1936 by the president of Brazil in a beautiful Art Deco box, and it weighs in at 1,298 carats. This gem lives at the Franklin D. Roosevelt Presidential Library and Museum in Hyde Park, New York. One final piece of aquamarine jewelry we love is fit for a queen, literally Queen Elizabeth II, better known as Meghan Markle's grandmother-in-law. But before Liz was inviting suits, cast members to fancy royal church weddings, she was globetrotting and getting insane presents of jewelry from all over the world, including Brazil. She loved the Brazilian aquamarine jewelry so much that in 1957, she commissioned an aquamarine tiara to match. And then Liz beefed up the crown again in the 1970s and wore it fairly frequently over the decades. Congratulations to March Babies. Your birthstone is one of the coolest in the world. Do you ever wear aquamarine jewelry? Let us know in the comments, especially if the answer is a crown. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there. Thanks for watching.